Hello, hello everyone. It's Maddie with Spectrum Art Creations. And today we're going to be working on the card kit from Simple Stories. It is a simple vintage life in bloom collection. Gorgeous, gorgeous uh, card kit. If you're not familiar with their card kits, they are simply fabulous. You can make eight cards. Actually, you can make more than that. But we'll go with the eight um, that they have given us. And it includes everything you need. Everything including the bases, the chipboard pieces, the die cuts, the step-by-step -step instructions. And guess what? There is no cutting required. None. All you do is simply add adhesive. So you're going to get 22 chipboard pieces, 73 die cut uh, bits and pieces, eight four and a quarter by five and a half card bases. They're white. And then as I mentioned, the complete step-by-step -step instruction. So this beautiful um, paper covers and gives you great like full color um, examples of what it is that we're gonna be making. And I use them a lot for reference because they have really nice pictures in the front. Then these are your instructions and it breaks down all eight cards step-by-step. However, I'm gonna make it that much more easy for you guys because I am going to break it down uh, for you each card at a time and then you'll be able to gather all your ephemera and have it ready. Hopefully you will be joining us for the live craft along that we're going to be having here on the channel. And we pretty much do these anytime that Simple Stories releases a line and we bring it into our stores. If you're not familiar with our stores, they we have two online stores. We have the spectrumartcreations.com online store. And we also have the Etsy online store also under the name of Spectrum Art Creations. Uh, in addition, we also get together on Saturdays, every Saturday here on our YouTube channel, and we do live sales. So if you've never joined us for those, join us because that is how we um, sold these kits was mostly during the live sale. Folks just sign up and then they are, of course, receiving their kits already. They already have all their kits ready and we're going to put them together this coming week. So if you are watching this after the fact, you can see a how beautiful this kit is b you now know that you can purchase them from us and c you also know that you can craft along with us and put them together so the first thing that i do is i simply punch out all of my pieces i start by pushing down by the way there is a tip for you it is much easier to push down on these and it prevents it from ever snagging and you possibly tearing one of your really beautiful pieces. So I put the pressure down towards the table in order to pop all those out. As I mentioned, there is no cutting required. Everything has been cut for you. All you need to do is add adhesive. Um, and of course, if you want some twine, some beautiful enamel dots, um, you know, maybe some brads, uh, dimensional foam dots, that kind of thing. Um, what I do is I separate my um, ephemera, my pieces into several different buckets. One, I put all of the larger pieces, which are the ones that are going to be mats or uh, belly bands or that kind of thing. Then in another um, little bucket, I go ahead and I put like all of my tickets and my taller ephemera. And then in another one, I am putting all of my florals. And then in the other one, I am going to do um, like the butterflies, the hearts, that kind of thing. And then finally, I will have another bucket in which I will separate. Right now, I'm just kind of punching stuff and throwing it in different buckets, but eventually I will sort it out. So I'll have, like I said, one for backgrounds, one for ephemera, like tickets and whatnot, one for florals, one for butterflies and um, hearts, and then one for my text, anything that's got a sentiment on it, beautiful, bloom, uh, you know, you make my heart, uh, that kind of thing, love and laughter. And then finally, this right here is the chipboard sheet, um, and that I keep completely separate. And as I mentioned to you, which ones I'm using, you will see me refer to chipboard um, because that makes it easier for you to find those pieces as well. So I keep my chipboard separate um, 
Uh, the other tip is don't forget to go ahead and pop out those little bits in between your words. If you have any of the little connectors and you want to uh, clean them up, you most certainly can. They don't bother me and you really can't see them once you've put all of these layers and beautiful pieces. If anything, I kind of think they add something, but if you want to have it like super clean, you can go through all of your uh, ephemera bits and clean up all of those connectors. Okay, so here we have the first bucket I mentioned. This is going to have like all of the mats, whether they're big, small, skinny, short, they are just all gonna go there. Then I'm gonna have all of my tickets and that kind of ephemera, you know, it depends on the line. Then all of my florals, so if I need a flower, I know exactly where to go get it. And this way I'm not fumbling all over the table. Then all of my sentiments. Then we have the butterflies and all of the hearts. And there are so many pieces, they're so beautiful. Then we've got all of the chipboard finally in that bucket. In that bucket, the chipboard is just everything all mixed. Okay, with that said, we are ready to go ahead and go through our instructions and start separating them into the packs that we need. Okay, so I'm going to use some envelopes. You could use uh, some little plastic bags just so that you can keep all of the little pieces together. I'm going to bring each card up at a time and I will let you know when it is going to be a chipboard element. I will hold them up for a little bit in front of the screen and then that way you can gather yours. If you need to pause at any time, simply pause, freeze it, gather, find that element, put it inside your little baggie and then move on, you know, hit play when you're ready to move on to the next one. Of course, the, um, you know, the more cards we put together, the less pieces that we're gonna have to look through so it'll go faster as we get towards the end. But all I'm going to do is separate all of these and this is your homework for the craft along is to go ahead and punch out all of your pieces and separate them all into baggies or envelopes uh, just to have them ready and that way all we'll do is we will work together in class and putting them together. I find that this not only saves a whole lot of time but it is less frustrating than having to look through all of your bits and bobs and also prevents from you gluing down the wrong butterfly and then realizing, oh, that was the wrong butterfly. I needed it for this card and now I've glued it down to the, the other one. Again, even if that happens, it's not a big deal. They're all beautiful. And in the end, you're gonna see that we are going to have some extra bits and bobs. Again, there's like all the elements are gorgeous so even if you mix and match and got it wrong and whatever i mean you can't go wrong but definitely they have done a fabulous job at designing these cards oh just wait until we start putting these together i mean just by looking at the elements you can see just how stunning and beautiful they are so you know they're going to be gorgeous but once they are put together they are even more beautiful so i will let you enjoy some music again feel free to pause as you need to and then i will be back um, at the end and we'll talk a little bit more but all we're going to do is gather up all of these elements one at a time and put them in our little bags and have them ready for class for the craft along <music> So it is as simple as that. We're just going to continue to grab the elements. I'll show them to you one at a time and then we will continue to bag them. Here's the fun part is, and it's it's kind of funny, when I started working on these at first, I was not really a card maker. Card making was not my thing. 
I wouldn't say I'm a card maker now, but of course I am a lot more open to card making because I've come to realize that, well, we all need cards. We need cards to send to our friends, whether it's thinking of you or you're special or maybe at work or relatives or families or neighbors. But the other reason is I do a lot more of journaling, um, whether it's a junk journal or just uh, albums. And then I realize, well, all of these cards can be inserted into pockets. They, they can become tippins, they can become flip outs, they can become uh, pockets themselves by adhering them on three sides and then you still can journal on the inside. So I've, I've actually learned that there's a lot of good reasons to make cards. So if you are thinking to yourself, well, I love this collection, this is so pretty, all this ephemera is amazing, and the layering that we're gonna do, it's like layers and layers. So again, another key point, if layering is not your stronghold, or if you enjoy layering, that is another reason why to fall in love with these kits. But in general, even if you're not a card maker, I would highly recommend these kits because they are amazing for your journals as well. So just wanted to kind of throw that out there. I'll let you continue enjoying um, the putting together your little packets, your little baggies, and then I will be back with a few more tips. And see those little connectors if they bother you very very simple just go ahead and grab your um, scissors and just trim them off again they don't really bother me unless they really really are obvious or maybe the paper has stuck to it then i will clean them up but overall not now the words some of the words the letters have uh, centers that you can punch out so make sure you are on the lookout for those two when you're prepping your pieces
And as simple as that, we are done. That's it, we are ready. Now do remember, if you want to distress, if you want to ink up your edges, then go ahead and get that done before class because there are tons of elements here and obviously we won't have time to sit there and distress and ink them all up during the craft along. So I am going to ink mine up. If you want to do yours as well, go ahead and do that. And we still, as I mentioned, have so many bits and bobs left. And that's why it's nice to put them all together so you can also see what pieces you have extra should you wish to add on to your cards. Well, guess what? You can use all of these, but honestly, you have enough to make a whole lot more. You can do clusters and paper clips and charms and dangles and just, I mean, fun, fun stuff, ATCs, inchies, wrenchies, just lots of gorgeous ephemera to work with. Look how cute they are. You have cards, I'm sorry, hearts. You have butterflies. We still have these tickets left as well, which are gorgeous. And again, this is why it's also neat to put them together ahead of time, because otherwise you'd be wondering, well, shouldn't those have gone somewhere? I'm sure I missed something. Well, you didn't. Those are just extras they give you because they're awesome. You even have some chipboard left as well. Those hearts are so cute and the colors in this collection are just gorgeous. And then you still have um, some floral bits as well. So lots to continue to play with to add on. I hope you guys will join us again. Do not forget, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel for this notification plus anything else that we do because we always have craft along classes, tutorials, as I mentioned, our um, Saturday sales, product demos. We've got um, all kinds of other workshops and we're going to be focusing a lot in the next couple of months of techniques, whether it's um, with magicals or um, making faux wood um, elements. It's going to be great. We're going to have a lot of technique classes, upcoming alcohol inks as well. So yes, make sure you go ahead and join us, of course, on Facebook as well. Join Spectrum Art creation friends. It is a closed group full of amazing artists and crafters such as yourself or those aspiring to be. So lots of inspiration there. And of course, don't forget to join us, as I mentioned, for our uh, Saturday sales and to check out both of our online stores, which are, of course, available to you with thousands of products as well. And if you don't see something that you are interested in, feel free to email us. But again, we hope to see you also on Saturdays for some really fun get together classes. It's I'm sorry, classes, sales. It's live and we we chat, we hang out, we play games, we sell product. You get to see it in real time. It's just a whole lot of fun to do um, to join us and to get to play along and shop. And then, of course, if you have not heard or you are not part of 
our academy. We hope that you will join because we have exclusive workshops, lives, there's tons of perks as you can see here. Uh, so make sure you join the academy for one flat fee every month. You can have all those benefits and so much more. I will leave another video here for you to get some additional inspiration from, from some other projects that we've done and we will see you over there. Thanks so much. Don't forget, get ready for the craft along. Bye.